1. Eat regular meals plate. Spacing meals evenly throughout the day will help control your appetite and blood glucose levels, especially if you are on twice daily insulin. 2. Opt for slowly absorbed carbohydrates. All carbohydrates affect blood glucose levels, so be conscious of how much you eat and opt for carbs that are more gradually absorbed. Try pasta, basmati or easy cook rice, granary, pumpernickel or rye bread, new potatoes sweet potatoes and yams, oat-based cereals, such as porridge or natural muesli. 3. Cut the fat carbs. Eat less fat, particularly saturated fat. Try unsaturated fats and oils, especially monounsaturated fats like extra virgin olive oil and rapeseed oil, as these types of fat are better for your heart. Use skimmed or semi-skimmed milk and other low-fat dairy products while grilling steaming or baking foods is healthier than frying remember that all fats contribute similar amounts of calories so limit your overall intake if you are aiming to lose weight four five a day aim for at least five portions of fruit and vegetables every day to give your body the vitamins minerals and fiber it needs a portion is one piece of fruit like a banana or apple one handful of grapes one tablespoon 30 grams, dried fruit, 1 small glass, 150 milliliters, of fruit juice or fruit smoothie, 3 heaped tablespoons vegetables. 5. Eat plenty of beans Beans, beans, lentils and pulses are all low in fat, high in fiber and cheap to buy. They don't have a big impact on blood glucose and may help to control blood fat such as cholesterol. Try kidney beans, chickpeas, green lentils, and even baked beans. Include in soups and casseroles, cold in salads, in falafel, bean burgers and low-fat oatmeal and dolls. 6. Eat more fish. All types of fish are healthy, provided they're not coated in batter or fried, but oily fish such as mackerel, sardines, salmon and trout are particularly good for you. They are rich in omega-3, polyunsaturated fat, which helps protect against heart disease, which people with diabetes are at higher risk of. Aim to eat two portions of oily fish a week. 7. Cut back on sugar sugar. Having diabetes doesn't mean you need to eat a sugar-free diet. You can include some sugar as part of a healthy, balanced diet, provided you don't overdo it. Just aim to have less of it. You can also use other sweeteners as an alternative to sugar. Some easy ways to cut back on your sugar intake include choosing sugar-free drinks, buying canned fruit and juice rather than syrup and reducing or cutting out sugar in tea and coffee. But remember, sugary drinks are an excellent treatment for hypos, hypoglycemia, low blood glucose level. 8. Reduce your salt. Having too much salt increases risk of high blood pressure. This in turn increases your risk of heart disease and stroke, which people with diabetes are already at higher risk of. Reduce salt in your diet to 6 grams or less a day. Try cutting back on processed foods which account for about 70% of our salt intake. You can also try flavoring foods with herbs and spices instead of salt. 9. Drink sensibly wine. The recommended daily alcohol limit for women is 2 3 units and 3 4 units for men. Remember, 1 unit is a single measure, 25 milliliters, of spirits, half a pint, 284 milliliters, of normal strength lager, beer or cider or 125 milliliters glass of wine. Alcohol is high in calories. To lose weight, consider cutting back. It is not a good idea to drink on an empty stomach, especially if you take insulin or medications that put you at risk of hypos, as alcohol can make hypos more likely to happen. 10. Don't bother with so-called diabetic foods. These products offer no benefit to people with diabetes and may still affect your blood glucose levels. They can contain as much fat and calories as ordinary versions, are often expensive and can have a laxative effect. 